Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today I'm going to be showing you guys an updated version of my ID card system. Um, I made my first iteration of this over a year ago, maybe even two years now. And I've learned a lot, so I'm back here to sort of refine that. Um, because there were some issues with the last one. <laughs> um, so let's just quickly get started here. Don't want this to be too long. Um, you can find this model link in the description of the video. Um, it should have this with all these, this GUI here on this part. Um, and yep, sh these two splank, or, uh, scripts here should be blank with a remote event right there. So we can just head to this local script right here. Um, and the update remote, which is this remote event right here, the script parent wait for child update, of course. Um, and then, so what we're going to do here is we're going to create something to make sure that a player can't spam this remote event, which could create lag. Um, so we're going to do last update equals zero. And script the parent that equipped, which is the tool. So when the tool is equipped, not faces function. If tick, which is time, I'll put that in parentheses. Tick minus last updated is bigger than or equal to one. Then last update equals tick. Update remote equals fire serve. Still say equals all this time later. <laughs> Um, so this here is just going to check the tick, which if you check here, print tick, updates every, you know, this amount of time. So I can just spam this and you can see it slowly going up, but that's just every second. Every second this number is going up. Um, this is sort of a automatic thing here. Um, it's sort of a coding thing and I'm not too sure. I know, I think it's around 50 years ago that this number was started and every second since then it's gone up by one. So we can just head, this is done with the local script. Um, now we can head over to the regular script and the update remote again. Remote will script out parent, wait for child update. Now the handle, which is the part right here is script.parent, which is script.parent is the tool.handle, and the surface GUI is handle.surface GUI. Just to make sure that's right. Yep, surface GUI, which is this face right here. You can see if we just delete it, that goes away. Bring that back. So, and then same as last time, we'll call last updated equals zero. Now, this time we want to see when the remote is fired. So the remote dot on server event connect function player. Now again, if tick minus last updated is bigger than or equal to one, then so if it's been more than a second since the last update, last updated equals tick. Now, we're gonna set each of these things here. So first we'll do name, surface GUI dot username dot text equals two string player dot. And now this is where you have a choice. If you want their username, um, you can do dot name. Or if you want their display name, you can do dot display name, just like that. Um, for this example, I'll just do dot name, their username. Now, this sort of GUI has four options, username, group rank, user ID, and an icon that we'll do in a second. Um, and so here, we're going to set the group rank, so dot group rank dot text, because these are all the names of the um, GUI parts in there, equals two string player, get role in group, and put your group ID there. Um, I don't have a group ID on hand. I'll just do random numbers. Um, so it'll say guest for me because I'm obviously not in that group. That's just random numbers. Now for the user ID, surface UI dot user ID dot text equals to string player dot user ID. Now for the icon, 
this is going to be the hardest part of this, surface GUI dot icon dot image equals, and now we could do this a different way, but I would rather do it by just um, giving, putting in the link. So we're just going to put in this link, www.roblox.com slash bust thumbnail slash image user ID equals dot dot to string player dot user ID dot dot and width equals 420 and height equals 420 and format equals PNG and that's it right there that was the hardest part so we can just take this tool drag it into starter pack we'll try this out and there you go that's my Roblox username the group rank which is guest because I'm not in that group my user ID and uh, my icon of myself so thank you guys for watching I hope that helps um, sorry for taking so long with that if you guys have any other ideas or suggestions for um, other videos please leave those down in the comments um, see ya